And we begin tonight with a live look from West Oahu, where a major construction project to replace the old wooden Makaha Bridge is underway. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Allison Blair. Hundreds of residents on the leeward side of the island have been all but cut off since Friday night. Earlier today, even first responders couldn't get through. Eddie Dowd reports. The Makaha Bridge is the only way to get in and out of this area. And for three hours on Sunday, it was closed to first responders. <coughs> the DOT says emergency personnel had access to the bridge when it closed to the public Friday night. But on Sunday morning, it was completely shut down from 9 to 11 a.m. as the new steel bridge was slid into place. So this was a very unique situation for us. Um, we did prepare thoroughly for this. Honolulu EMS and HFD units were staged on the Ka'ena Point side of the bridge, with units on standby on the Wa'anae side. So they would have triage, they can treat, they can treat uh, gunshot wounds, they can insert breathing tubes. If injuries required patients to go to the hospital, the plan was to either load patients onto the back of an ATV and take them across the beach where another ambulance would be waiting. The DOT says they could reopen the bridge, but that would take several minutes, a situation that would add time to an emergency response where every second counts. Overseeing the operation himself, the head of the State Department of Transportation. We went door to door to everybody in this area to talk about their concerns, and we wanted to make sure we could address them as much as possible to ensure we minimize all the impact of that, so we really thank them. We were with Director Ed Sniffen during that three-hour closure. Okay, Ed, it looks like that three-hour window is now over where emergency responders couldn't access this area. No major incidents. Some might say you got lucky. I don't think we got lucky. We planned. We planned appropriately. The great thing is we didn't have to use it. Aside from emergency services, residents could pre-park their cars on the white and ice side of the bridge and take a shuttle to their homes on the West Makaha side. It is well worth it. The old bridge was a wooden bridge. For two and a half days of inconvenience, we're going to have a beautiful bridge for the next 40 to 50 years. I just want to thank the public, letting us get into their homes, talk story with them, make sure we understand their concerns. A similar project is scheduled for late November for another section of the bridge. And the DOT tells us the new bridge will be open to the public at 8 p.m. Sunday for anyone to use it. Reporting in Makaha, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.